So now we get to the point where we start talking about the numbers and specifications of each of these things. Now first we have the Acer W4. If we take a look at the specs, it says that it's an Atom Z3740 at 1.33 GHz. And on a side note, please note here that it has five, it's supposed to have 5 touch points. Now if you look at the Dell, the Dell Venue 8 Pro, and we look at it and it says it's an Intel Z Atom Z3740D processor at 1.33 GHz. And interestingly, the Dell Venue Pro has pen support, which we it's an optional thing that you can buy. And it supports 10 touch points compared to the Acer's 5 touch points. Personally, I don't really know why you would need that many touch points, but uh, well, it's, if it's, it's something that you might want to know. Okay, so from from here we can't tell much difference. After all, they seem to be operating on the same uh, same speed, and the only thing difference is that little D in the in the uh, processor chipset chipset model number. So let's hit the spec websites then. So here we have the spec sheets for the Z3740 which is what the Acer uses and the Z3740D. So let's put them side by side so we can have a look at them. And zoom in a bit so I can record it a bit better. Okay, let's see now. Let's do a quick comparison. Um, so for CPU clock speed, both of them are roughly the same. The 3740 has a higher burst frequency, whereas the 40D has a lower one. And then, interestingly, they cost the same. Then memory specifications. The 3740 supports 4 gigs of RAM and the D supports only 2 gigs but since we can't actually add any memory to the either device it doesn't matter here. Then if we look at that memory types, so the 3740 supports DDR3, LDPDDR3 and the 3740D supports DDR3L. I have no idea what that means but people tell me this is better this not that great relatively worse then the 3740 has a faster max memory bandwidth 17 point gigabits is that a bit of byte okay 17 point GB per second and the 3740D seems to be slower okay then we look at the graphics both using the same graphics chip Intel HD graphics 3740 31 megahertz for base frequency 667 for burst frequency 3740D 313 megahertz for base frequency 688 megahertz for burst frequency so 3740D is slightly faster has a slightly faster graphics chipset um, but a slower memory memory chipset. Um, I really have no idea how that actually affects things, so we can find out later. And um, is there anything else? Uh, both actually support 64 bit, and um, that's it. They also both support. Quick sync video, which is something if you might want to know if you're using any video rendering software. And okay, that's it for the spec sheet. Well, we've read the specs, and on paper, the Acer has faster memory, whereas the Dell has a faster graphics clock. So how well does that translate to an actual usage? That's, there's only one way to find out, which is, let's run a game. So I'm going to compare a desktop game instead of a metro game, because if it's um, in the metro UI, you probably won't see much difference. 
desktop game is easier to tell what happens when there's some graphical differences. So off, offhand you can immediately see this is risk of rain. There's a little frame rate counter here. This is saying 60 for the Dell. And Acer W4 not doing very good. The Sony managing 15 frames per second in the intro. So let's let's get into the actual game. So I'm gonna start. The Acer really is not doing very well in this. Everything is jerky and laggy on the Acer. Okay. So, this is the Acer. I'm just shoot fire a few shots. That's not very nice. No, oh, I'm, I'm already being attacked in the Dell. Oh, I died. Okay. So this is the Dell. So as you can see on the Dell, the game and graphics and animation is very smooth. So it could be that those graphical differences, that few, relatively few, Megahertz difference on the graphic bus didn't make that big a difference. Um, sure seems that way right now. Okay, so it didn't look very good for the Acer W4 in gaming just now. But uh, if you've been playing PC games enough, you know that no two games are, are the same and whether something works well or not on your on your PC is really up to the game itself. So let's give it a try. This is The Walking Dead and here are the settings that we're going to use. If you don't know what The Walking Dead adventure game is and you like adventure games, just go and play it. Okay, so the, here are the settings and uh, we're going to start the game here. I'm just gonna cut away from the selection screen and we're back so here we have it we're gonna just start off and go into the intro oh, I already played into somewhere okay so we're in the game already At this point, it feels like both of them are the same. So they feel generally the same, the not much difference. I realize that it uh, might be a bit hard to see the Acer due to some reflection. Okay, let me just try and move on. slow okay so they can see that there's not much difference here so compared to just now when I was playing risk of rain the Acer W4 couldn't work at all it's totally unplayable whereas now both of them seem to be performing just as well. There's not much difference. So, again, if you are a PC gamer, you should be aware of this. And the fact, the, the simple fact is that when you're dealing with a non-gaming PC, you it's hard to say whether a game will work or not work based on their requirements especially when you're talking about very low spec systems like these atoms 
the best thing you can do is to just if when you have a game try it and see how well it works don't look, don't just look at the specs and the requirements of the games